Hey! Welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is co-pilot show day. How exciting is that? Who's here? Who's here? Let me know if you're here. Please let me know if you can hear me. Uh, I have just rebooted my machine to make sure everything's working all right. And I'm trying. The problem with computers is that they have different brightness depending upon which screen you have. And I have three screens. I have one over there. I have one over there. And I have one over here. Deborah, thank you. Welcome. Deborah said loud and clear. Richard from Texas is here. Trey is here. Peter. Hi, this is Peter. Tom from Minnesota. Steve, Thailand. Steve from Thailand. Oops, wrong, wrong thing. Grab the wrong edge. Because I like to have the comments more in the middle. So I can see the comments there. Svetlana! Nice to have you here. Thank you. Do you notice that my partner here isn't here? Mark's not here. Johan's here. Marie's here from Germany in Berlin. Welcome, welcome. I try not to do a whole lot of just boring chit-chat, but sometimes that happens that way. For those of you who may not know me, I am Planet Mitch, uh, Mitch Onger. Is, my last name is Onger, and I run GiveawayRocket.com. I've also launched a new site this weekend on a kind of a whim, but kind of fun, uh, trying to globalize myself a little bit. And I have a new, new nickname. I'm calling myself the Viral Traffic Guy. <laughs> because I want to help you get viral traffic into your campaigns. <laughs> Halia said, Magic Mitch. I had not thought of that one. Magic Traffic Mitch. Magic. <laughs> Magic Mitch. I like that. I'll quote you on that. Halia said, um, Magic Mitch. I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going to screen grab that so I don't forget, because I tend to forget things these days. You know, you get old like me. <laughs> old. 63. Count it 63. But this is the Q&A version of the Copilot Show. And Why I have headphones on, I don't know. I do know that uh, I tend to focus better when I have headphones on, even though I don't have a co-host here like Mark or Danny or anybody else. Svetlana, yes, from Bosnia and Herzegovina. And yes, I was able to pronounce that. <laughs> at least I think I did. Uh, I got notifications flying at me. I need to turn that off so I don't get distracted by those because I want to focus on all y'all. Can I help you? Well, you have to ask me a question, Svetlana. This is question and answer day, and I am going to do a review. Uh, somebody submitted a campaign, and I am going to do a review of that campaign. Good morning, Jeff. Halia, thank you for letting me quote you. So this question and answer day, if you have a question, ping it. Let me know what your question is. There are a couple of questions uh, on the Up Viral group that I will get to. Uh, AJ asked one. Um... <laughs> Mark Davies, I didn't see this. Where do people register? Well, Mark, that's your job. <laughs> uh, so, Svetlana, Svet, you're a mother of two children. Okay. How about what's your question in terms of marketing for a viral contest related stuff? Jeff says, where do I send a campaign for review? Well, theoretically, you're getting emails from the uh, Up Viral team every week about the Copilot show. Hi, Dan. And Svetlana, I'm starting to think that you're not in the right place. We, we are not here to talk about your children and food. And I apologize that that's just not the topic today. I sympathize with your struggle. 
Uh, but if that's your issue, I'm sorry, you're going to have to take that somewhere else. Art's here. Hi, Art. Oh, man. <laughs> Those are some, some interesting questions. Dan says, I have submitted a link. When did you submit that, Dan? Um, I have one on the list for today. And that was from, where is my sheet? Oh, see, I opened that in the wrong, in an extra window. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it to another window. And I'm going to move that one over there. Notice how the light changes when I do that. Um, Dan, was that you that did the graphic design? No, that was Abba. Oh. Zaba, sorry, I can't read. Uh, Zaba submitted one, and I see one now with from Art. That was not here before, so that's new. Uh, but anyway, so Dan, uh, so Dan, ah, that is you, Dan. Membership dot bank job dot pictures, got it. So yes, it's uh, it's a product or services art not art the name um <laughs> uh, so let's see hi justin dan says that's it all right so let me see if i can do that and I think that worked, so that should be taken care of. Um, I'm, I'm disorganized now. I get it. I'm sorry. So seven minutes in. Let's see. Dan? So I got Dan's campaign, and I have Zaba's campaign and questions. So I'm going to turn off those questions because those were not appropriate. Uh, Svetlana Trey. What are the best things for a SaaS startup, startup to do. Wow, that is like this really, really big wide question. Everybody know what a SaaS is? Software as a service? Um, <laughs> so the key to using a tool like UpViral, since this is the UpViral co-pilot show, Trey, is to use it for list building. List building is the key function of a firearm. Now, if I were building a SaaS, a software as a service application, what I would do is start building my list. And you could do that for a variety of ways with a firearm. You could do it with lead magnets, with free things. You could do it as a referral program. You could do it as a contest and give away some licenses for your product. All of those things are capable, are possible with UpViral. Now, what I want you to do, Trey, potentially, is to go back uh, to, and I wish I knew the date, and I wish I knew the episode number, uh, but there is an episode that I did, and it's high, it's been highlighted a couple of times in the Facebook Up Viral group. So if you search for it, I'm sure you'll find it. But I did a show on seven different ways. I got the fingers right. Seven different ways to use Up Viral. And potentially you could be doing all of those, depends, on with your uh, uh, your new SaaS. And that's kind of what I'm doing in my own business, by the way. I am taking all of my old lead magnets and everything else that I was giving away, and I am turning them into up viral campaigns because, as Mark likes to say, we need to be eating our own dog food. And my dog food came into that phrase, I don't know. But there are lots of different ways of using up viral, and we have talked about many of them here on the Copilot Shows. Uh, so make sure that you go back and look for that show. I really need to try to figure out what the date was. Um, uh, 
And so I'm not sure I can go in a whole lot more detail. Uh, we potentially could talk about what your uh, SaaS is. You did say later business to business. It makes it a little bit tougher to be doing uh, business to business as opposed to business to consumer because it's easier to get consumers to potentially sign up for your offer. Uh, let me rephrase that. It's potentially easier to get consumers to share your offer because business to business people may have difficulty referring others. Um, but hey, AJ, AJ's here. Uh, let's see. Dan said, I wonder if I could show you the inside of the F viral. Yes, you could. Um, if you had a way of sending me a screen grab or, I mean, if you private messaged me maybe over on Messenger, I don't know, I, I'm a, a bit leery about you posting a password. I mean, because right now I don't work for a viral. I don't have access to everybody's campaigns. So I can't just dive into your thing. And I, frankly, it would be safer if you just sent me a screen grab of the report screen. Let's just go there. Because I don't want to try to get into logging into your account and getting passwords, etc. cetera. Um, hi, Martin. Um, so Deborah also said Trey should get social proof and testimonials. Absolutely. Um, and Dan, if you could just like, I don't know, do a screen grab with some kind of social, <laughs> pardon me, web-based tool where you could just give me the link to the image, because I'm not even sure you can send, um, I'm not sure you can send a, a file to me through this chat. Uh, Jeff said, where do we send that? to my email. Well, if, if, I mean, I use an app called Clout Hub, not Clout Hub, <laughs> Cloud App, they, that do, lets me have a link. There's, there's all kinds of tools. I mean, even Loom has now screen grabs in it if you use Loom. Um, I don't think you can upload a screen, but if you just give me a URL, I think you can post that. Maybe, I mean, I can post the URL, maybe. That's only my side. I don't know. I've never, I'm not sure anybody's ever <laughs> tried to do. Um, if you said, if you connect with me on Messenger, um, I know we could get there that way. It's an AI enhanced, Trey says, lead generation software. Uh, Deborah says she found the show 16th of June. Thank you so much. Seven different ways in which you can use UpViral. Very good. Thank you. Jeff just sent me a link for Google. Um, Trey says business to business viral campaigns are easy. Well, great. Then you should be here teaching. <laughs> oh, now he says business to consumer. Yeah. Um... You could send the link to admin here, then it is private, Clive says. I don't know. I, I'm i not a webinar jam expert. Any suggestions as to what to give away? So, Trey, here's the problem. That's a really in-depth conversation about what marketing you should be doing for a SaaS company. I don't own a SaaS company, never tried to market a SaaS company, and therefore I don't have a ton of experience in that re regard. However, that being said, <laughs> Trey says free pizza for sharing. Yes. Uh, that being said, you know, there are obvious examples like Dropbox and other places that have done referral marketing. Harry's has done it. There's lots of examples out there. Uh, so look for some of those. And there are also case studies in the UpViral website. If you go to upviral.com, 
and look in the menus, the resources menu, I believe, there are case studies, lots and lots of case studies. Um, all right, Dan, I, I see your link. I'm going to click it. I'm going to click it, and it's going to open, and that's a download. All right. And so, all right, so I have that. Thank you, Dan. All right, let's go back to, that's all right. Uh, we'll take, I will take over for Mark. There you go. <laughs> Nice. All right. So I want to make sure some, I was starting to answer a question. Justin said, any suggestions on what I could give away to internet, international medical insurance business? Let's move on to the next question. Boy, that's a toughie, Justin. Uh, <laughs> so what I suspect, <laughs> pardon me. And I don't have the official Up Viral Cup today. I have my daughter's McKendry University class. I think in terms of international medical insurance, what you got there is a really tough sell in terms of having a giveaway. And by the way, everybody besides me is able to comment on this. Uh, we often get ideas that Mitch doesn't think about because even though I have a lot of experience, I don't always come up with the best ideas for what to give away in challenging situations. Now, medical insurance. Obviously, I would love to have a free policy for a year. Don't know if that's possible. If that were something you could give away, I would go for that. Because especially in the United States, our insurance has gotten really expensive. That being said, uh, I was going to say that potentially with companies that offer insurance to their employees, that's eliminating half the market, but that's okay because you don't want those people anyway, right? They're not going to buy insurance from you in the first place. My initial gut reaction is to go find something that would be potentially a relatable product that people wouldn't necessarily normally buy themselves. I don't know, some, and my brain is going to like a hospital bed or in-home care or even something like a, a knee brace. My, I got to get my knee replaced in a couple of years. Some kind of physical product that you could give away that would be in the medical field that would attract people that don't have the ability to pay for it themselves because I mean, if I had company paid health insurance, medical insurance, I probably wouldn't be interested in winning a hospital bed or, you know, a wheelchair or something like that. Um, so I, and you, you ask me a really tough one. There are several different ideas there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because what I've done is I've stopped scrolling. So now I'm going to scroll up to see <laughs> uh, if anybody's been throwing in. Deborah says, international medical insurance, lead magnets, everything you need to travel in your medical travel kit. That's a good one. Uh, because a lot of people that travel don't take care of themselves. Um, AJ says, what have your uh, Trey's competitors done in the past? Model and kind of borrow that. Great idea, AJ. Uh, Justin or Deborah said, what happens when you get sick while traveling? Some kind of a lead magnet in that regard. Steve says, why not masks or UV sanitizer? 
Health accessories. Uh, UV hand sanitizer might be good. Um, Jeff says, this is where you, quote, offer hack, unquote, find an existing company and follow them, which is very similar to what AJ just said. Yes. Uh, the other idea that I preach, and we've talked about it here multiple times, Justin, and, and this applies to everybody. AJ will tell you I say this all the time because he's in my mastermind. Think, brainstorm, sit down with a blank piece of paper and just list a ton of different things that you could possibly give away, like insurance. Steve just said free, free, free vacation to a third world country. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily attractive. And and we, I don't know, let's not get into the politics. Um, Amazon voucher for new customers, Justin said. I don't know. I don't think you want to go down that path unless something like a voucher would be specifically limited to medical equipment. Uh, CPAP machine. <laughs> uh, I, I want a CPAP machine and, and my insurance didn't pay for it. <sighs> no, Deborah, he's selling, he said he was selling business to business. Um, so anyway, let's, let's move on a little bit and see if we can get some more questions. We're at 22 minutes in. This is all good stuff, but my advice is to sit down and brainstorm. When you do a brainstorm, and this is, again, true for anybody, not just Trey or Justin who are asking these questions, but make a list of everything that you could possibly give away. Don't think how. Don't think implementation. Don't think, oh, that'll never work. Just write it down. Because what's going to happen is that you're going to start brains. You're going to, like, even think of some of these Steve just said a year of foot massages. See, if you write it down, that's going to make other people or yourself or your brain, if you're all by yourself, think of other things like, oh, wait a minute. Massage. Well, what about a regular massage or a subscription to one of these massage places? Uh, may not be totally appropriate, but, but as you're listing things out, you're not thinking about whether or not it's a hundred percent appropriate. You're going to go back through the list and you're going to say, well, that doesn't attract my avatar, my perfect client. So you have to just uh, list them down. Don't be thinking how or why or who just list them out. You could always throw them out later, but it's the brainstorming activity that helps you figure out and keep that list. Don't throw it away because later on you're going to say, well, maybe that contest or that giveaway or that referral incentive didn't work as well as I thought it would. What's something that would work better than that? And you'll have already gone through the exercise and you will have that list. I have my own list that's about eight miles long of assets, of things that I could give away. And so when I start thinking about a new campaign, I don't have to sit down and suddenly think. They're, all of it's listed right there. All right, so anything else? Let's see, I'm gonna unmark that as a question. Unmark that as a question. So I, I wanna make sure I'm covering everything. If you do have a question that I haven't gotten to, uh, Dan, we're going to look at your numbers. David earlier said, I am on a Kickstarter without an affiliate link. David, 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 David. Where I did, I, bleh. I'm not sure I see David, anything other than that. What is the question? If you're still here. Um, David, I am on Kickstarter without my affiliate link. Did that have to do with, no, that was Dan.
Info says, I want no question. All right, I'm on, I don't know what that means, David. I'm, I'm sorry I'm lost. I'm going to leave it marked, but I don't know that I know what that question is. My question is, without the link, I can't promote. My question is, without the link, I can't promote. That's Dan. I am on Kickstart without my affiliate. I still don't know what the question is. Without the link, I can't promote. I'm on Kickstart without an affiliate link. I don't know what that means. Sorry, David. You're, you're still going to have to give me more. Zaba said, free full medical checkup. Steve said, a 5K coupon for plastic surgery. Clive said, you could try a joint venture with a complimentary business. Yes, I'm going to ring the bell for that one. If you're stuck, when you're writing your list, don't forget that you could partner with other people. Absolutely. Now, it takes more work to do it that way, but... David said, the affiliate link to promote a fire Still don't know what you mean. <laughs> if you have an affiliate link to promote up viral, you can type, use it anywhere you want. Um, my question is: without the link, I can't promote. I, I, I don't know. right now, in order to be an up viral affiliate. David, you have to go get a link from the affiliate. You have to be approved. And then once you have the link, you can use it anywhere. Um, so, yes, I was still uh, still waiting for it. Oh, well, I'm not in charge of UpViral. I, that's not my my point in life. I, <laughs> I work for myself. So you need to contact support at UpViral.com. And... I, I cannot help you with your up viral link. That's outside the scope of this because I'm not in charge of the up viral affiliate accounts. Okay. Whew. Sorry. All right. We got to that. Now let's look at um, Dan, right? It was Dan that sent me the screen grab, right? <laughs> Uh, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that uh, full screen, and I'm going to come over, and I am going to do screen share, and I'm going to do this screen, and I'm going to do share, and then I'm going to move that out of the way. And go into the screen grab. Now, I I did a show a week ago, two weeks ago, two or one two or one week ago, <laughs> about analyzing the results of what the reports are telling you. And uh, so I don't I don't. I don't see the bottom of this, but that's okay. What it looks like, Dan, if I look at... Where's my cursor? Why is my cursor thing not on? Looking at your totals, which are over here, you get 7,389 total visits and only 388 total leads with a conversion rate of 5%. Mentally, I'm doing the mental math to make sure because I've seen a couple of places where these numbers are not showing up correctly. Um, what this tells me is that if you were doing a normal, everyday uh, lead magnet campaign, or I don't even know what this is. I do know 
Uh, Dan, you did send me your link, right, for the review? So we can look at that. This is showing me that you're getting a lot of really good traffic, 6,200, 7,300 total, but the people aren't converting. Uh, Zaba says, having network connections, hopefully reconnect. If you don't, we're recording this, so we will be okay. You will be able to see it. Um, so, Dan, David, <laughs> I, I feel like I'm being very disjointed today, and I, I will apologize for that. So let me go ahead and click on the link that you gave me. And I'm going to put this in a new window, and I'm going to bring it over here. So if I have this right, and somebody scream at me, thank you, Justin. Uh, if I have these two things right, uh, it, this is your offer. I'm sorry, this is your, <laughs> sorry, your reports. And this is your offer. Take part in an important movement for economic justice and win our limited edition artworks. Now, now, if I'm skimming, I'm reading this top part here, and I'm probably not going to read this. If I do read this, and then I see limited edition artworks, I'm already confused. I don't know yet what the connection between economic justice and artwork. To celebrate the preview of our feature documentary, Bank Job, and if that's the title, by the way, that should be in quotes, because right now it's a run-on sentence. Bank Job, we're running this competition to win three of only 10, blah, blah, blah. All right. Win our limited edition of artworks. To celebrate the preview of our feature documentary, Bank Job, we're running this competition. Too many words here. We don't care. We're giving away three of only 10 Ignits in existence made from the van we blew up last year. Okay. So here's my gut, David. No, Dan. I'm lost. I don't understand the offer. You have not explained to me enough about what's going on. This is all in caps, which drives me personally crazy because that means you're shouting at me. And I know headlines are supposed to be in caps, but this is also all about you. I've talked about this before. Uh, Clive just said using all caps makes it hard to read. I agree. I, I've been really getting on people about all caps. Especially since, no offense, but these, the kerning on these, the, the uh, amount of space between the letters makes this really hard to read. Not only are they caps, but it's, it's all spread out. People skim. People are just looking for highlights. They are not reading every word on your page. And right now, so far, this is hard to do, hard to read. It's about you. It's not about me, the consumer. Uh, and so far, I still don't know what I'm winning. This says, win our limited edition artwork. It, do I get this photo? Is this a photo? Is this a wall art? Am I actually winning one of these 10? It does say here, 10 ignorance. Is this the art? I mean, no offense, Dan, but I'm not connecting the difference between limited edition art and these things. I don't know anything about the van you blew up. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I'm lost. Win a bank job original artwork here. Now, there is possibility that you are not a native English speaker, and that's okay. But this, even this phrase, win a bank job original artwork. I don't know what bank job is. I think that you're trying to tell me that this is a feature documentary called Bank Job. 
and maybe you blew up a van or something, and then you turned that van into these ignits. I don't, I mean, I'm kind of making this up. I think that's what you're telling me, but it is not clear at all. This is the offer is totally unclear in my book. And I don't know what your offer is. Now I'm seeing stuff down here. But again, you have to make the assumption that people are going to understand um, people need to understand what the offer is in the first three to five seconds or they're gone. And yes, I apparently can come down here and read and I can watch this video. Um, fill this in to join slash or if you have joined this should show the leaderboard. I, I, I know what UpViral does, but I don't know why you're trying to explain that to them. If that's true, if you have it set up to show the leaderboard, unless you're using the same page with a widget, which is possibly what you're doing, um, see, now you're, you're here explaining what's going on. This needs to be at the top of the page. Uh, Steve says, two blocks of scrap metal as art is brilliant. <laughs> um, it's confusing to say the least. Mitch is right. There needs to be some clarification, Justin said. Steve said, I want to see more blowing up. <laughs> Suggest two separate images. Um... So what's the value of these? You're not telling me what, and I'm skimming, but you're not telling me what the value of this is. Is this valued at $50,000 a piece? Are they valued at 10 bucks a piece? I mean, it's scrap metal. And I know you probably don't have a value. Uh, Deborah said, su suggested headline, do you feel like your bank is robbing you blind? Enter to win a limited edition Ignit. Explain why they would want that. Bingo. All right on. So what I'm telling you, and, and you know, I tend to be a, a little bit blunt about what I say, because I want you to understand that people coming to this page are voting with their feet. They are telling you the people that directly come in only 5% of them have any clue what's going on, and the rest of them are bouncing. You are getting lots of good traffic. You're getting 7,300 hits, 7,400 hits to your page, and less than 400 of them are converting. This is, this is not a good signal for you. This is telling you that your copy, that your lead page, is not getting them to stick around and to convert. Justin said you could just lead with the value of the blown up van ignits. Um, so again, what I want to highlight, and, and thank you very much, Dan, for being open and brave to let us look at this. The reports are telling you gold. I know so many people that will just look at this number right here, total leads, and they may say, well, this is great. But if you don't look at the conversion numbers and you don't look at some of the additional data, you're not going to totally understand what the data is telling you. Spend time thinking about these numbers. I will tell you that I keep track of every campaign. I have a spreadsheet that has all the numbers listed for all the campaigns I have done and I know what my conversion numbers are, and I average between 25 and 35 percent for conversions. Your mileage will vary, 
you could do better. I've had people do much better than that. I've had people do a lot worse. I suggest that if you have a brilliant offer that people are interested in, it will convert higher than 5%. Because it's a giveaway. Justin asked, where are these leads coming from? Clive said, you need a good copywriter to simplify the message on this page. Steve says, looks like a 7,000 piece of modern art in Hollywood. Uh, Johan also said 92 referred leads from 296 leads is also not really great. Which goes back to what I keep preaching about. <laughs> uh, what I wish for and what I want people to do is to mentally come up with the ratio of referred to direct, right? If the direct leads and the referred leads are identical, 296 in both cases, that would be a one-to-one -one relationship. That would the, the ratio would be one. That would mean that every person that came in on the front end brought somebody else into the campaign for you. Right now, that's at what, 3%? What's 92? So I'm going to do 92 divided by... 296, because it's not on the screen anywhere. 31. Okay, I can't do math in my head, obviously. But that, that means 0.3. Every person that comes on the front end brings in 0.3 people on the back end. That's not too bad. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> That's not too bad, but we would like it to be much closer to 1. And if you're not looking at this ratio... As Justin, or who was it? Uh, as Johan pointed out, if you're not mentally calculating that, because up viral doesn't give you that number, but I want you to think about that number, calculate it yourself every time you come to your reports page to find out, because this is the gold of up viral, right? Anyone, I'm going to draw a box around this in the upper corner here. Anyone can paint for copywriting and ads to get direct visits. This, the referred visits, are the absolute gold, which is why you're using up viral in the first place. If you're not focusing on this number and the ratio of that number to this number, you're missing out. I'm going to bang you on the head multiple times about this because this is important. I'm looking for... Danger, danger. If you're not focusing on this number, your campaign is in... Danger, danger. <laughs> I'm just trying to be a little fun. Focus on this, think about this. If this is not working, if, if people are not bringing in referrals, then you need to spend more time on your social messaging. You need to focus on what your incentives are, if there are any, and we haven't even looked at that yet. You've got to find a way to get people to refer other people. If you're not working on that, then why the hell are you using up viral? I mean, I'm being blunt and frank. <laughs> yes, you can use up viral to run a contest and you can bring in a ton of traffic in the front end. Those are theoretically all new leads, but this is where the gold is. You can pay money all day to bring in leads on the front end. What you want them to do is what's in this box right here is to refer others. That's 90% of why you're using up viral. Focus on it. Drill this into your head anymore? Can I do that? Focus on this number and the ratio of these two things. These people are not referring. I look at that all the time. All right. Um, so, AJ, are you still here? <laughs> I know AJ asked a question. Justin said, Danger Will Robinson. Yes, that's from the Jetsons. Danger, danger. 
And my friend uh, Astro over here is not a like exactly like Astro. Astro. Uh, I agree what Steve said. Use the too long or top level didn't read. I think it's too long didn't read. Lost in space. Yes. Oh, you're right. Sorry. It is lost in space, not the Jetsons. Uh, too long, didn't read, or top level, didn't read, format, then add full details lower down the page. Use what's in it for me to guide your page copy. Because absolutely, this top section is all about Dan and Dan's movie. To celebrate the, celebrate the preview of our feature documentary, nobody cares. Yet, they want to know what's in it for me. The only reason people come to your page is what's in it for me. This is what's in it for me. And they don't care that you're running this to do a celebration. Right now, they don't care. Zachary Smith. Way to go, Justin. Three. Here's, here's the prize. Win three of only ten on the entire planet. Hopefully you're getting the idea. I need to move on. Uh, I'm going to quickly do this. I'm going to put in me. And I'm going to put in my email address. And I'm going to agree. And I'm going to enter now. Thanks so much for joining. Yay, you did that. The Bank Job Film launched competition. This is where you eagerly share objectives. This competition is designed for virality. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. The more you share, the more people you get to enter your unique link, the great number of points you will get. Call them entries to win. Don't call them points. 30 entries, 38 days left. Simply take the code from below and share it. Uh, leaderboard is below too. What? Why is there a leaderboard? Is there a prize? Did I go, do I get a prize? You know, what, 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 what? Are there incentives? There is a bank job secret unlock. What is this? You don't explain this at all, unless it was on the previous page. But again, on the bottom of the previous page, most people aren't going to read. You need to tell them what they could possibly get. Now, there's multiple incentives. You've got multiple incentives, but you're not explaining any of this. What is this? There are two of them. Sorry. <laughs> it goes around in a circle. This bank job secret unlock. Bank job digital vault. What are those things? Why do I want them? Why should I be sharing? This is the thing you got to think about. As a person coming in, what do they see? What are they thinking about? If you're not explaining this to them, they're not going to understand why they should do this. Um, share on Facebook. Okay, let's see this. Win thousands of pounds worth of our original art as collected by VNA to participate in the movement for a fair economy. Now, I told you about this on the viral challenge. I don't care for this at all. This is me being mean and cruel. As you're scrolling on Facebook, why would somebody stop and read this? Does this image, and yes, I just had my arms crossed. I just noticed that. What does this image do? Will it stop people from scrolling? Win thousands of pounds of our original art. Who cares? <laughs> I mean, I, you got the value there. Collected by VNA. Who's VNA? And why do I want to? Why do I care that they collected it? And what does this fairer economy have to do with anything? All this thing is supposed to do, all the social sharing image is supposed to do is to get me from Facebook over to your campaign and you can explain all the crap you want to. Pardon me, I shouldn't say that. You can explain your entire marketing message on the landing page once you get them there. You also need to use a custom domain instead of an up viral link, but that's a whole other topic. Make Britain fairer. What does that have to do with thousands of pounds worth of art? 
Why does it say bank job is a heist film coming out in December? What does that have to do with making Britain fairer? What does that have to do with the economy? What is this bank job heist movie about? These messages are all totally discombobulated to the person who does not understand what your offer is. And I'm, I know I'm being blunt about it, but that's what's happening is the people are being blunt by walking away because they don't understand the message. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to, hopefully, Dan, I beat you up enough about that. Uh, we got 10 minutes theoretically left, and I haven't even gotten to the other review. But I also want to talk about AJ's question because he made the time to ask a question. Uh, where is it? Where do I have it? I thought I opened it in a new window. Where's my window? Steve says, blunt works. I agree with all, what you said. Oh, it's over here. That's why I don't see it. That's the wrong place, too. So AJ asked the question, walk through sending emails to existing leads to share on the thank you page using a one-click sign-up. Um, and I'm sorry, AJ. <laughs> AJ probably left. I will t connect with AJ for sure this afternoon because we have a members meeting this afternoon. So here is the question, and I don't have a viral open. The, um, let's see, which campaign should I use? I uh, will just look at this one that I have running right now. Up viral has one of the most amazing things. Have you guys are you let me let me ask everybody that's here. Are you using the one click sign up at all? If you're not, that's okay. It is totally okay if you're not using it, but it is one of the most unsung features of Up viral and I use it all the time. And it's right here in this box. So is anybody using it? Let me know. I would love to know what the results are. Johan says, not yet. Uh, Deborah, thank you for your suggestions to Dan about his campaign. I'm not going to read them out loud, but Zaba says, not yet. Johan says, not yet. Bill says, no. Steve says, not so far. Do or do says, yes. Way to go. This is one of the most unsung things you've ever seen. So let's suppose, and I don't remember, AJ didn't tell me I've, uh, he's using constant contact. This box right here is gold. Now, assuming, thank you, Deborah, assuming you have an autoresponder and you are putting the people in your autoresponder for your campaign, what you can do is you could select from this list the uh, tool that you're using. I'm pretty sure it's Constant Contact that AJ's using. And we want the join campaign. You could also do some of these other things. I'm not going to talk about those right now. But you could put a button or a link in your email that you're sending out from your autoresponder to people who have already registered. Well, I'm rephrase that. There's two ways of using it. If people haven't registered, but you want to give them a quick way to get to into your campaign, you could do any of these things, like share on Facebook or join campaign. We're going to primarily just look at join campaign. So let's say you've got a list of a thousand people and they already know, like, and trust you and you want to get them into your campaign. Now, yes, you've already got them on your email list. But guess what? And this is the thing people often forget. Those people can help you do marketing. If they want to win something, they will recommend their friends. That will grow your list. That's why you use Up Viral Because you want to grow your list. So... 
in the first case, which is why UpViral built this, you could take this link. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to do copy link. And I'm going to do, I'm going to open text edit so you can see this. And I got a whole bunch of junk that just opened. And I'm going to make this full screen. And I'm going to make the font size really big. And I'm going to paste that in. And I'm going to bring it over to the beginning. And so what UpViral has, if you notice this, if we break this down, this is the thank you page for the campaign. If you're using a widget, you can still do this, but this would be the sharing page that you define in the widget setup. Notice that there are two parameters. Anything after the question mark is a parameter to an HTML website. And the first one is the email address. They labeled it UV email for a viral email. And after that is this bracket email. And then there is UV name. And so ampersand says, here's another parameter. This one is called UV name. And that parameter is called name inside of constant contact. So this is what's going to happen is that your autoresponder is going to do substitution. So it is as it sends to every person on your email, it will substitute Betty Lou's email address and it will substitute Betty Lou's first name or name or whatever field you have there. And instead of landing on the landing page, they will land on the share page. They will already be registered when they click this link. All right, Does everybody got that. Do you understand that? This is a fantastic freaking feature. Now I've used it for a whole bunch of different things besides getting people from my email list. It's kind of cool that you can do some other stuff with it. We're not gonna get into that, but I wanna know, do you guys understand the primary purpose of this? I'm gonna turn this off for now so you don't see that thing pop up. Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Do you guys understand this? Uh, can you see it? Let me make it even bigger. Nobody's answering me. Did I lose all y'all? Because I want to know if you understand this. This is this is a fantastic feature. Johan, yes. If, and if you have questions, let me know. Because now is the time to get them answered. Because I'm live and AJ is still here. Way to go, AJ. Thank you. Uh, could you just review? Okay. John says, I missed the question. Bill says, I got it. Martin says, very powerful. Zaz says, understand. Carlton says, please review. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into preview. Let me see if I can do this really fast. Uh, open recent. Um, this will be good enough. Uh, all right. So remember the process with up viral. You got a lead page, right? So you're sending traffic into the front end of your lead page. That traffic decides whether or not they want to opt in. When they do opt in, they go to the sharing page. And on the sharing page, they get all the buttons that says, please share. And if they share, then that means they're creating a viral loop and other people are coming in the front end. All right. Now, people land on the lead page and then they go to the share page if they want to join your campaign. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to, it's, it's easier if I do open, just hold, just hang on two seconds. If I go to samples, process flow, uh, da, 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 where is it? I know I have it. Come on. 
webinar contest, relaunch, sharing flow, custom action, saving links. I know I have this. Oh, man. I don't have. Why is my tax questionnaire in there? <laughs> That's the wrong place for that. Three point uh, process retargeting rewards. Daggummit. I know I have it. All right. So never mind. Forget that. Sorry. So imagine the you've got people now, right? So when you somebody signs up, you have your autoresponder connected, and you can send people an autoresponder sequence down here which would send them to a sales page. But you could also create an autoresponder that says, hey, folks, because you have other people on your autoresponder, right? You have people that are signing up for the campaign. Uh, let's assume you have other people who are signed up to know, like, and trust you and want to hear more from you. And you send them an email from your autoresponder like this. And the one-click sign up will take them directly to the sharing page. It will bypass the process of landing on the lead page. Because what you're doing is in that email that you're sending out to everybody on your list says, hey, I'm giving away three fantastic, cool art pieces. They're, they're pieces of this van. We blew up this van to make this movie. You gotta enter this. This is really freaking cool. We're giving away three of them sign up by clicking this link. So instead of going to the lead page that we just fought over, they end up going to the sharing page directly because they said they wanted to sign up. And again, they're already in your autoresponder, so we don't really need to make them even think about it. If they click the link, they're in, but what we want them to do is to do the sharing, right? Um. John says the clocks changed in the UK. Yes, Mark was actually pinging me before the show going, are you ready? And I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. But his clock was off by an hour compared to what I'm used to too. So it happens. Now, does everybody understand that the one-click sign-up will take people directly to the sharing page? Everybody got it? Uh, those people that asked for a review, does that make sense? Justin and Carlton and Daniel said, please review. You got it now? Justin says, yes. Paul says, yes. Katerina, same here. Oh, lost hour. AJ says, yes. Dan said, sorry, I was on another panel. Okay, you can watch the replay. Dan says, thank you. All right, now... Here's what AJ, and here's what up viral, pay attention to this. You think you had that part. This is even more brilliant. One of the most common questions, uh, Justin said this could be used for email lists too. Yes, uh, I'm assuming you're autoresponder. Um, a lot of people say the time changed and, and they're late. So uh, that's okay. You can watch the replay. But this is the best part because this is AJ's question. David, there will be a recording. It's always in the Up Viral group. It's on Up Viral's YouTube channel, and it is in your Up Viral dashboard under the Learning Center. You will always find all the replays there. All right. So now Daniel says this in this case, a lead is already in my list. Yes, I said that multiple times, but it's good to point that out. They are already in your list. And everybody says, but why would I email my list? Because you want your list to bring you new people with this viral sharing loop. This is the gold of up viral. So yes, you've got somebody on your list and Betty Lou loves you. She wants to buy everything you've got. Well, best bet <laughs> I bet you that Betty Lou knows somebody else that would love to have whatever it is you're offering. So you want Betty Lou to do the social sharing and you're going to incentivize her to do that. 
So yes, you want to email your existing list. You want, and you want them to love you even more because you're giving them the opportunity to win something or get a lead magnet or whatever it is. And you're shortcutting the process because you don't want them going to the lead page. You want them to go directly to the sharing page. Betty Lou, yes, she's my friend. She's my avatar. I use Betty Lou all the time. She's made up. She's fiction. All right, so point number two that I want all y'all to pay attention to me. One of the most common questions. And by the way, if you just joined because the time changed in the UK or in Europe and wherever, you ought to be fresh. This is fresh for you. <laughs> this is, this is, this, you're primed to pay attention. One of the most common questions is how do I get people back to the sharing page? From my list, I, they're on my list. How do I get them to come back to my sharing page? No, she's not related to Peggy Sue. What you do is you cheat. Upviral never ever planned on this, but this one click share sign up is not just a sign up because you can use that one click sign up to send people that are in your campaign from your autoresponder directly to the sharing page. This is gold. This is something that many people don't realize they can do. You would send the people that are already signed up to your campaign the same one-click sign-up. And in fact, what I typically do is I actually just delete the UV name, the, their first name, last name, whatever. And I just send them this link because this will take them directly to the share page. It ignores cookies, right? So if somebody registered on their smartphone and they see your email on their laptop, and from their laptop they click on the link, they will end up on the landing page because the cookie is not set on the, pardon me, on the laptop. This gets around the cookie problem. This gets people from the email directly to the campaign. They were already signed up. Bill says, awesome, I didn't think of that. Nobody does. And I didn't think about it for the first two years either. And there was this light bulb moment where I went, holy crap, pardon me. <laughs> um, holy cow, this can be used to answer that very common question. And Upfire will never thought about it. And to this day, they still go, why would anybody do that, Mitch? And I'm like, good golly, pay attention. They will do this because this is the shortcut. This answers the cookie problems. This answers the device problems. They come from your list straight into Up Viral, right on the sharing page. Problem solved. Deborah says, Mitch, is there an Up Viral Copilot show with the benefits of using the one click sign up? This is it. <laughs> Typically, I don't get to go this in depth on topics. Uh, not a specific topic like this. And I, I have it in the plan to do some common question stuff. Uh, and I will probably cover this again. I, it's funny because I talked about this in my membership with AJ. Uh, it's, it's a difficult, potentially difficult thing to understand and to remember because I know that my members have asked me the same question multiple times. But once you learn it, once you start using it, you're going to use it like crazy because you're going to get everybody, you're going to send an email that says, oh, look, we got three days left in the campaign. Don't forget to share this with others so you can gain more entries to win the contest. Here's the short link right into the sharing page where you can click buttons. Deborah, connect with me and we'll talk about that. Um, Bill, oh, Bill, I read that. Jeff says, these are the same people that are already may have shared the campaign. Absolutely. They maybe have shared the campaign. Maybe they haven't shared the campaign. There's nothing in your autoresponder that will tell you whether they have done that. 
but this is a great freaking way of getting people directly to the share page and you can then ask them you can ask them you could say hey by the way i've created this new custom action that's going to give you 5000 points 5000 chances to win but you have to go click the custom action and it's on the sharing page and here's the link to get there You could say there's one day left. If you bring in five more people, you're going to get this bonus incentive that I just added. There's all kinds of ways you can use this once your brain starts going, woo, woo, woo. I don't know what that was. Uh, it's a fantastic thing. Now, if you really want your mind blown, you can also use this if you got any programming skills. You can also use this to get people into your campaign through other tools. Uh, I have a blog post about using a tool called Typeinator, which is a survey, not Typeinator, um, Typeform. A survey tool where instead of having the lead page be an up viral page, it's a survey. And with Typeform, you can create this link programmatically inside the tool and you could send people directly to the campaign into the sharing page and bypass your lead page altogether that's an advanced topic i do know somebody that is building a page like that right now with a different tool other than typeform and i have walked through it with him and i have talked about that before also in that seven different ways of using up viral I talked about that as well. It's a cool freaking tool. Um, Angel, it's not a dumb question, <laughs> but I am not supposed to promote myself on this show. I'm just here to talk about Up Viral. But if you connect with me on Facebook, my last name is A-U-N-G-E-R, we can have a conversation. Uh, or you can go look at the case study about me on the Up Viral website. Um, but yes, I'd be happy to chat with you. Uh, Deborah, oh, I already asked, uh, is there any other, I, I know a lot of things were flying by. My, uh, Dan said, my Up Viral page is converting referrals at 8%. We talked about that. Maybe you were gone, Dan, because you had to go to something else. I would love to see that higher. It's an, if your referrals are converting at 8%, I still think your messaging is off. I, I think that if you're offering a giveaway and people landed on the page with, with enough information uh, to understand what your offer is possibly at the beginning before they get there, your conversion rate should be a lot higher than that. My typical referral conversion rate is about 20%. Sometimes it's much higher than that. AJ, who is on the call, had a conversion rate of, I don't remember the exact conversion rate now that I think about it. But in his campaign, he was getting a, a, a direct lead to referred lead ratio of 3.3. The one that Dan, we talked about earlier, was at 0.3. So on AJ's campaign, he was getting 3.3 referrals for every person that came in the front end. It was a great campaign. He's, his current campaign's not doing quite that well, but it's doing fairly well. All right, so the one-click sign-up is a freaking awesome tool. Not, as far as I know, none of the other contesting tools have this feature. And it is, it is the unsung feature of Up Viral. I think it's crazy. Um, Johan earlier said, we do that all the time. Invite existing people on our list. And on average, our list grows 20 to 30% by doing that. Brilliant, Johan. That's why you're using Up Viral. Because you're asking those people that signed up to do this social sharing because they want more chances to win the prize and they want the incentives that you're offering. 
Um, so I'm scrolling back to make sure I haven't missed anything. Deborah, I t answered that one. Uh, David says, searched in Facebook and didn't find group units. It's right at the top of the page. Why don't I just show you? Because I, I showed you uh, the group before. So if you go to the top of the page, Dan, right here, there's discussion and there's units. If you go to units, there's all of the up viral uh, co-pilot recordings. So it's in their menu. And I'm on the new Facebook. Uh, so it's in the new menu. It's right next to discussion. All right, Facebook groups, uh, marketing units. Mitch, or Justin said, notch above awesome. Thank you. All right. So anybody have any other questions? I know that I still wanted to get to uh zaba's uh, zaba i apologize you know i go long-winded <laughs> if you haven't been here before you know i go go long-winded there's lenny my friend lenny uh let's see i'm in chrome i don't want history i want window all right so let's look at zaba's campaign I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. This, I think, is a pretty good campaign. I was looking at this earlier, so I cheated a little bit. Entrepreneur's Prize Draw. Now, I do... Con, con, I, uh, uh, come on, Tong. I do wonder if you're limiting yourself too much because couldn't you do uh website for a small business that wouldn't consider himself himself or herself an entrepreneur i uh, and it's okay to limit your focus i'm having a drink sorry it's okay to limit your focus but also recognize that you may be missing out on some opportunities win a website for your business and boost your sales and profits after a devastating COVID lockdown. Now, what I would love to see you do when you have the opportunity, because Up Viral will let you do a split test, would be to split test this and put this section above this. The first thing that they see is is your business struggling to boost sales with COVID lockdown stuff? Some kind of wording similar to that. I have the solution for you. You could win a free website for a year. I don't know whether you're, is this a, I, I did not ask myself this question until now. Is this a permanent thing? They get to keep it. Are you, are they going to, are you going to charge them for maintenance? What's, what's the agreement there? Three lucky entrepreneurs or will win a quant. So I slow down, Mitch. The thing I was trying to do was to get you to uh, talk about the pain point first. I don't know which one would convert better. I tend to think that the pain point will convert better uh, because many people, if I'm an entrepreneur coming in here, my first thought may not be, oh, I want to win the website my first thought might be, oh, man, I'm struggling. Oh, I could win a website. I don't know. Three lucky entrepreneurs. I don't know what this is. This little smile or sad face is if that has to do with this. But why is it tied with lucky entrepreneurs? I don't think I would put the sad face here. Three lucky entrepreneurs. Three X. Why is there an X? I would I would just say three lucky entrepreneurs. Each will win a responsive quality is a responsive site to boost their presence. Period. The prize draw is totally free to enter, and all you have to do is earn yourself points by sharing this contest with others. Okay, 
All of this is too wordy. There's too many words here. All you have to do. The other side of that is that this is putting me off right off the bat. What you're asking me to do is work. And you're asking me to work for you. And that's okay. We can do that. Why don't you just say this prize draw? Why don't you just say this is totally free to enter? You don't have to say prize draw. You Everybody knows that it's a contest. If this is a most points thing, we'll talk about that in a minute. But all of this other stuff is killing you, potentially killing you in terms of people signing up. You don't want to try to tell them that there's work. They want this free and easy website that's going to be magic. Three chances of winning. One random lucky draw, most points, and when a person you referred wins, you also win. You know I love this three prize strategy. Uh, I think that's fantastic and should help you get a better response. So I would completely get rid of this. There's no need for that. Simply type it. Again, you're doing too many words. I know you're trying to make it simple. You're trying to make them understand how easy it is. If if it's... I, mean, I, I know. Justin said, free to enter, share to win. I still don't like that because that implies that if I don't share it, I don't win. And that scares me away. Free to enter, share to win. That implies most points, which there is one of those options, but I'm focusing on the random draw. I don't have to share at all for ra random draw. Deborah has a good suggestion for um, Zaba. I'll read it for everybody for the historical record since you guys can't see the comments. Her suggested headline is, Need a pro website that will bring business in fast? Enter now to win a website that works. I t Personally, this is me. This is Mitch. It depends, and you can always split test this. Uh, I tend to not like questions like that. But it. I, I also know that marketing works, right? I mean, it, it's... It is the pain point. I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna back off on what I said. Just forget I said that. <laughs> so that works. It's fine. Uh, it's a good option. Now uh, I have also, by the way, quit putting this enter with Facebook on here. Um, Justin asks. So is everybody a winner? No. And it does say three chances of winning. One person will get a random draw. One will do this and that. Uh, you do have to be careful of that. And I appreciate that, Justin. I do I do get to tend to be very careful about my wording. So I don't imply that everybody's going to win something. Because I don't want somebody to come back and sue me. Um... Anyway, let me keep going. Enter with Facebook. And I see, Ricardo, your request. Enter with Facebook. I've gotten, I've stopped using this. Uh, partly because I don't get any feedback whether or not people actually click it. So I don't know if anybody's actually clicking the thing. But I also think it's confusing because there's two buttons. And anytime you give people a choice, I've been told by the gurus that choice tends to scare people off. And so I've gotten rid of doing the enter with Facebook. That's my own personal opinion. I did love that you have the previous winner's website listed here. Um, I think that's a great idea. What I would do if I were you, Zaba would be to put uh, like a small picture here or something. Maybe a few words about maybe, maybe she... He, she gave you a testimonial. Put those kind of things in here if you've got them. 
this is a good image that helps. The background image is good. It's not distracting. Um, don't forget, by the way, to test this on a smartphone to see what it looks like on a smartphone. I often do it just by dragging this. I don't trust the little preview thing inside of UpViral for the smartphone edit. I still would get rid of these one X's things. I don't, maybe that helps, maybe it doesn't. Um, I would also potentially ask them to agree to the terms and conditions. You do have terms and conditions, so that's good. I did not check Dan's thing if he had them. But let's let's just move on because I want to see. I want to see. Ah, I can't see. <laughs> All right, uh, Zaba, if you're still here and you are able to uncheck that for just a few minutes and let me in, uh, please let me know if you can do that. So Justin asked, is winning dependent on how many shares or is it totally random? Uh-oh. <sighs> Am I still here? I said I said a cuss word, didn't I? Are you do you guys see me? I totally blew that. I hit the back. I hit the back key. Richard, can you see me? You said oops. Okay, I'm back. Phew. I I said a cuss word, and I apologize. That was bad. Um, I don't remember Ricardo. Who who? I've lost by doing what I just did. Thank you for letting me know that you can see me. Phew. Sorry about that. Um. I lost the link that, that Ricardo said he wanted me to look at his page. If you uh, So we're in Q&A still, by the way. If you have questions, let me know. There it is, Ricardo. Uh, I'm concerned about this. Um, so this is a, a – Ricardo um, – Why am I looking at an about page? Let me just ask you. What we're here to talk about is an up viral campaign, hopefully. This is this appears to me to just be an about page. Thank you, Justin. I'm not I'm uh, no offense, but I'm not here to look at an, an about page. I'm here to look at an up viral marketing campaign. So if you have something different, let me know. Can you help me? Ben says, can you help me figure out how to integrate a CF order page with up viral HTML code? Ricardo says to put it in up viral. Um, so Zaba, it is, let me show you. In UpViral, if you go to Setup, and you go to Advanced, and you go to GeoTarget, can you see my screen? I'm not sharing my screen. Ha! Ah! Mitch, you got to share your screen. Duh. Um, so, Zaba, if you see my screen now, you go to advanced settings over here on the left, and you go here to geo target. And right now, what you have is specific countries listed here in the in the geo targeting. Uh, so that's what you need to change to allow. I'm in the United States, so if you just grab the U.S. and I will go back to that page. And I will test this. So let's see. Ben, I haven't forgotten you. 
to put it, uh, Ricardo said that is the campaign. This is not a campaign. This is about page. This is not a campaign. This is not asking somebody to sign up for something. If if that's what you're talking about, this it needs to be on a separate page, and you need to give me a whole lot more information about what that is. Deborah said you need to get that on a self-hosted domain because this is at WordPress. Um, Justin made a comment. I'm not going to read that right now. Uh, uh, da -da -da -da. So, Do or Do said, "Can I review this setup?" And you've given me the link inside of Upfire. I cannot, I cannot see that. <laughs> I did it again. God, I am, I am, I am apparently getting tired. <laughs> I apologize. That's the second time I did that. Um, I tried to close the window because I was trying to close the other window. Uh, but so Ben's. So if you want me to review your campaign, you have to go to the Promote tab and grab the URL from there as if somebody's entering. I cannot go into your back end. If it says app.upviral.com, I cannot see that link. Uh, Deborah says, great stuff as always, but I have to leave. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate that. I keep trying to kick people out too, apparently. I'm going to close that. All right. Uh, I know Ben asked a question about uh, click funnels and an up fire roll widget. I'm not sure, Ben, what details you want. It can get rather sticky, which is why I don't care for up viral widgets a whole lot. I'd like to do my campaigns as an up viral hosted page. And it can get sticky. I Ben said, what do you need from my end? What I need is um, I need to know more information about what you're really asking me. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. ah, that actually worked. Open in a new window. So this Doe asked me to look at his social sharing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn screen share on. See if I can get this to properly do what I need it to do. Instead of closing things, <sighs> share on Facebook. Um, this image doesn't do anything for me. Do, do is it do or do? I, it, this looks like a marketing image to me. If I were scrolling on Facebook, I think what that's showing is a a router with some antennas, but it's chopped off on the top and the bottom. And so I don't know what the the concept is here. Why, if there's more information at the top and the bottom, then you've you've botched the social sharing image. It's not the right size. Thank you, Zaba. Um, would you like to reduce radiation in your home measurably? I think you need more information about what this is. You need to put it in the image. Put the text in the image. Say something like, did you know your router is killing you? Radi and maybe down here, radiation from your router is making people sick. 
click for more. You know, you got right now. There's no hook. The only hook that's here is would you like, which is kind of passive. I, you need a whole lot more here to get me to click through. I'm scrolling by and I'm just, oh, I should have scrolled up. But download 10 tips to reduce EMFs, earn coupons, blah, blah, blah. None of this is working for me to, to get me in there. You got you to gotta have a bigger hook with a bigger promise in my book. All right, so let's see if I can, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do entered win. Now, so Doe, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but that, that image just doesn't do it for me. Richard said, say what? My router is killing me? Damn, I need to shut down the internet right now. I don't have time to share that post. That's funny. Now, um, Zaba, I, this is between you and me, and don't tell up viral I said this, but I hate this template. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Nobody recognizes this is a tab. They see progress five points and they think that's it. But notice if I click that, look, there's more stuff. I only need zero points for zero visitors and 20 for every sign up. What is that telling me? If people do click it, they're confused. I hate this template. Can I say that again? <laughs> um, congratulations. I appreciate this. Your... Entry has been received. You don't need to say prize draw. Again, too many words. Make it short and sweet so they have time to read. So far, you have five entries. To, again, you're, you're using extra words. To further increase your chances. You don't need to say further. You actually don't need to say two. Increase your chances of winning a website for your business. Use the buttons below to share the prize draw with other like-minded entrepreneurs. I don't know what that means, Justin. Every time someone joins the prize draw through your invite link, you'll get 20 points, say chances to win instead of points, which will place you way ahead of everyone else you invite. I like that. That's a nice phrase. I, it might be worded a little better, but that's an interesting take on it. Um, see from see from each social media button below. I would get rid of the sentence altogether because I'm totally confused as to what you're trying to say. It's too wordy, too long. I know you're trying to say there's points down there. But they see the points. Don't worry about telling them that. Um, for email entries, click copy and paste into your email. Why did you got an email button right here? So if I click that, that should open my email program, and Lord knows what that's going to show. And so you did not change the default. This is. Default a viral text. Uh, so change that. Find a way of making it better. I don't know that you need to do this. You can say copy and share your link wherever you can share a link or something. You know, some words like that. But don't try to limit them that you can only place that in an email. All right, so I'm not seeing any incentives other than these chances added to chances to win. So you're not offering any other freebies or anything else. Uh, by the way, you're using a not using a custom domain, which I absolutely insist that every client I talk to use a custom domain because they're included in your up viral plan.
The question in my head is always, would I stop scrolling if I saw this image? What I would like to see you do is make this section over here much bigger. You got a whole bunch of empty space. Yes, I understand this is a common way of showing a website. That's a good image. There's nothing wrong with that image. But this needs to be bigger. These are good words. They just need to be a lot bigger. There are no rules on how much text you can have on a social sharing image. Make it stand out. Make the word win grab somebody. But that's, that's a decent image. Win a website for your business. This is free to enter. In this free to enter enterprise price doll, you, so you got too many words here again. You are focusing on entrepreneurs and you can decide whether or not that's appropriate or not, but you got too many words. Cut back on your words. Get a copywriter to help you cut down on your words. Using too many words. All right. Who's still here? People are still here. Hallelujah. Am I doing all right? Am I going too long? Are you guys getting some valuable stuff from this? By the way, it would be great if all y'all shared this with other people that are using Up Viral. If they're not using Up Viral, they should be. <sighs> all right. So, Justin, there you go. I'm sorry, not Justin. Uh, <laughs> Zaba. Uh, all right. Justin says I'm here. Doing good. All right. Question. So, I still need to get to Ben's question. Anybody else have questions? Pile them in. Because as soon as I stop seeing questions coming in, I will turn y'all off. Does everybody does everybody know about custom domains? If you don't know about custom domains, you gotta. Richard says use Up Viral to share the Up Viral Copilot show. Finally, they are actually listening to me because I said this a long time ago. I said to Wilco multiple times, why are you all not using Up Viral <laughs> to sign people up to stuff? Why are you not using your own tool? As Mark likes to now say. So they're working on that, just uh, Richard. They're working on that. <laughs> uh, preferred autoresponder for use with UpViral. Anyone that works is the answer to that one, Steve. Richard, great question. Would you buy a custom domain to host a contest? Yes, I've done it every time I've run a campaign for a client. Absolutely. <laughs> Joe says custom domain. Richard said, would you buy a custom domain? Yes, absolutely. Uh, when I did campaigns, uh, it depends. Most, many times the client will use their own domain. But if I can't get access to, for, for example, I did a campaign for Fuji, the camera company. I did not want to hassle uh, Fuji's website people to create a custom domain for me. So I just registered FujiGiveaway.com. Absolutely. Isn't a subdomain better, Justin? A custom domain in the UpViral world is a subdomain. So let me go to UpViral. I will show you some custom domains that I have done. Go to settings, custom domains. Here are some of the ones that I have done. Yes, they are subdomains. 
For example, Canon Rumors is my friend's website. He was giving away a Canon EOS R. And so we registered, we added a DNS entry for enter dot. Um, I created a custom domain called Killer Custom Actions at giveawayrocket.com. I have some demos that I'm that I'm doing with uh, challenges, and they have their own custom domain. There's free challenge. There's podcast.giveawayrocket.com, which I was doing some testing with. There is upviralscripts.giveawayrocket.com. Here's demo Fuji. So if you wanted to see uh, the demo, I mean, you could do any of these, right? Giveawayrocket.com is my main site. So I created a subdomain, a, a custom domain, as a viral calls it. And notice that it says demo Fuji. Demo, my, where did my cursor thing go? Why did that go away? Mouse halo, there it is. It says up here, demo Fuji.giveawayrocket.com. Uh, so, so why do I want to do that? So I'm going to do Planet Mitch. I'm going to put in giveawayrocket.com. I agree and enter to win. Notice that still had the Facebook thing on it. But notice, <laughs> here I am trying to tell you to use a custom domain, and this one doesn't have it set. All right. So I do have it set up here but I obviously don't have it set here. So that's a two-step process. Does everybody understand yet what a custom domain does for me? And maybe not, but let me go to uh, my app viral and I'm gonna go to that campaign, my demo Fuji. So I'm gonna do a search, demo Fuji. Uh, I'll just do Fuji. Da, 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 demo this one so if I go to setup I'm going to go to the advanced settings and I'm going to come down here to the referral tracking domain and I'm going to look for demo Fuji that one I'm going to save that and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do demo Fuji that's already set and I'm going to do save so the problem was this one got unset. It was set wrong. So let me come back here and I'm gonna do a refresh and I'm gonna just say continue. Now notice that this says demo fuji.giveawayrocket.com. So instead of, you saw it was up viral before, uh, it was up viral before and now it is my branded thing. So if I click on this Facebook share, that URL, notice it doesn't say upviral.com. It says demo fuji.giveawayrocket.com. In the case when I was doing the Fuji campaign, it said enter.fujigiveaway.com. So that's branding 101. You don't want upviral's branding. You want your branding. You want your website. It's going to give people a warm and fuzzy that you are doing your campaign properly. Custom domains are freaking awesome. You definitely want this. Now, if you were on the free plan, let me go to up dot pricing. I shouldn't say free plan. I'm sorry. If you're on the starter plan, if I scroll down here, uh, you have up viral branding. You don't get to do a custom domain, right? If I come down here, custom domain. Oh, you get one. You get one custom domain on the starter plan. So you can have one. Why is this not automatic? Great question. <laughs> they are working on improving this process. But right now, you have to set this up yourself. Uh, if you go back to the show that we talked to Ben a couple of weeks ago, Ben talked about making this much more automatic. 
In the business plan, you get three custom domains. In the premium plan, you get 10. Now, somebody's going to ask, Mitch, why do you have uh, 20? What do, how many do I have, 20 or 30? I am on the lifetime deal that was purchased, that I purchased when a viral started in 2015. So it was unlimited custom domains. So I have a different plan than all y'all do. All right. Uh, I'm not sure it, it, setting those up is not hard. If you go to custom domains, there is a sub, sub tab here for instructions. If you follow these instructions, it is not hard to do. It is a little bit more difficult than your typical process, but it is not really hard to do. Um, Richard said, valuable stuff, Mitch. You are on fire. Thank you. You're welcome. This is the kind of stuff I love, love, love to do. I, I So I'm going to wrap that up. I'm not going to show you exactly how to do all of the setup. I, I think at some point I will do a specific show on this because this is critical. I'd love to do it after they do this improvement process that Ben talked about. Uh, but you can get specific help down here. Like if you're using GoDaddy. They have specific instructions on how to go set that up. Uh, it's not hard. Uh, the one that gets people tripped up most often is Google Domains. And look, the, that's not here. Uh, I have not specifically done a Google Domain one, but... It's not hard. It's not hard stuff. I. It's just different. And someday I'll do a show. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. I, I want to try to get to Ben's question. I've done that. I've done that. Ben? Ben, 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 Ben. So Ben said, purchase on... ClickFunnels front end goes to an up viral widget embedded on the ClickFunnels confirmation page and shares go back to ClickFunnels front end order page. So Ben was asking, uh, I don't remember exactly, but part of that is set up. It, it's a complex thing that you're trying to do the key to that is, I mean, it's not, if you replace the, well, see, the problem is that you're doing an order. You're doing a purchase, and I have not done that. Typically, what happens is that people do, they use the ClickFunnels sign-up form. I don't think I've ever seen anybody use a purchase on ClickFunnels. That's the difference. What I'd have... I would have to take time to look at what you're doing in a lot more detail. I'm not sure I can answer it right here, right now. Um, because that's kind of a complicated thing. Everything works except for the tracking. Contestants can share the page, but the referral tracking ID is not being passed from the order confirmation, so it won't track. There's the problem. And I've seen that happen a lot where people do not do the proper setup to track those things. It's also why I always say quit messing <laughs> with some of these fancy things and make your process simple. When you start trying to complicate the process, I'll go back to this diagram. Up viral likes a two-page process. Up viral is a two-page process. It likes to stay that way. If you're trying to add another page or something on the front end of this, it gets a lot more complicated because of this thing, the viral sharing loop 
getting them to this page and getting that tracking, the referral tracking to work. That's the place where everybody fails. In the process I was talking about with the type form, type form handles that referral ID coming in and it processes it just fine. But um, Ben, your problem is happening right there and I need to dive in a lot more deeply into your ClickFunnels process because I've never done that with a purchase. Also, by the way, as a sidebar, uh, if you're doing a contest that requires a purchase, you better talk to a lawyer because that can be tricky. That can be illegal. Um, I can integrate via an email integration, but that doesn't submit the order. Yeah. You got anytime you try to throw a purchase in the middle of the process, it can get messy. So the the final question Ben asked, is there a way to force ClickFunnels to pass the ref ID? I don't know. I'm not a ClickFunnels expert. Um I, I Ben, we could talk offline about this. Um but today is not the day that I can help you because I have my membership call this afternoon. <sighs> Imagine the possibilities of purchasers share to send their other person. Absolutely. Call Russell. Maybe he knows. Um, Steve said lots on custom domains in previous co-pilot shows. We did talk about that once. <laughs> uh, I, I did get into that once and and I kind of got uh, it's a deep topic it come it's it's an absolutely powerful thing that a viral can do the custom domains everybody should be using one but getting you to go through the process and and maybe what I will uh, hopefully be able to do is a show where I can break down some of these things and walk you through step by step by step with a sample. Again, it's not hard to do, but I understand that it is, it's more complicated than the average quick question and quick answer for the Copilot show. Now, um, let me know if you have any more questions, Zaba has had a question. What happens if I have 20 clients who need a custom domain? Then you got to talk to UpViral because I'm sure you're talking about the pricing page. Uh, Chrome. I had the pricing page. Where was the pricing page? I've wondered that myself, frankly. I don't know... Uh, so I'll just open a new, I don't know where the tab was anymore. Up dot pricing. Because this says in the full access, the premium, it says 10 brands. I, I don't know if you have, uh, Zaba, if you have 20 clients that are running simultaneous campaigns, you are freaking awesome. And I stand up and salute you because that would be freaking awesome. I never gotten to that kind of point where I have that many clients any way, shape or form. Um, Justin did ask, before you go, can you show us one of your most successful campaigns? Zaba said, I wish. Uh, I feel you, Ben, although you should ask ClickFunnels, it would be very beneficial to their users, although be aware of the legal implications. Yes. Now, there is nothing wrong with, let's, and I, I have done this before, 
where you are doing, say, um, like a webinar or you're a paid webinar or you're doing maybe a summit and you are running a contest for those people that are entered, they're purchasing an admission and you're running a contest. So it's not an open contest for everybody. Richard, thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, it's not a paid contest for everybody. I mean, if you imagine you you go to a conference and they're doing a giveaway when you're there, you had to pay money to get in. It's completely legal to run a giveaway to the people that are inside there. The key is they're not paying to enter the contest. They're entering, they're paying to enter uh, the the conference or they're registering for that. And so that's where the legal aspects of it are different. If you are just requiring a purchase for a contest, that's a that's what's called a raffle, and that's where you get yourself in a big trouble. Uh, so Justin also said, uh, and I we are at two hours. I want to make sure that if anybody has a question, ask me a question. I still didn't get to some of the questions that were asked via the website. Um, one of my most successful campaigns, I will share with you that ClickFunnels campaign. I'm not ClickFunnels. Yeah. Canon Rumors. There it is. I've done two campaigns for them, but this one got 53,000 leads. Uh, so if I, I'll just show you the landing page and I keep a lot of extra things dangling around, but this is the one that we did. We had several different ones that we were testing, but it's freaking simple. We got 53,000 leads. We had a camera and the choice between two lenses. We had a timer and that's pretty much it. Why was that so successful? Well, that particular campaign was a hot camera in a very hot market. The camera had just been announced. Canon Rumors is a big camera website that has to do with Canon cameras, obviously. And my friend Craig, who runs the site, said, hey, let's just do a simple giveaway. It drove me crazy because um, he didn't want to do any promotion. We sent one email to his list at the beginning. We posted one thing on Facebook, on his Facebook timeline. We sent a second email with, I think, three or four days left to go in the campaign. And that was it. We did not do a lot of promotion. It was a hot camera at a hot time. And I, I can show you, like, at the top of this, we had... 34,000 referred leads, and we had 18,000 direct leads. So that's almost two to one. So we had, in terms of that ratio I was talking about. Um, now, Justin just said 19% referrals. That's conversion rate on the referrals. I thought that was pretty low. But he didn't want me to change anything. He was very... Craig, he's a good friend of mine, but he's kind of picky about stuff. Um, so, but you notice that there, are, this is like a ratio of almost, I think it's 1.8. So for every direct lead, we got 1.8 referrals. That's the success of this campaign, not that conversion rate, not this conversion rate, but the fact that we got 1.8 referrals. And we didn't do any work. I mean, it, it was it was really challenging because I wanted to do more. And it's kind of hard to see this on this chart. 
but we did basically two two announcements and that was it but i also want to show you notice this last 30 days there's still traffic coming to this campaign do you know when i ran this this was october of 2018 two years ago and there is still traffic coming to this campaign two years ago so this is referrals these are people coming in on those referral links they're still out there on the web and people are still hitting those links this is the total visitors yesterday 26th of october is that yesterday 79 visits 79 visits two years later two the point being you better have some place for those people to go how many cameras were given away justin were you not paying attention <laughs> one camera Grand prize, one $2,200 camera. Second prize, one lens. You got to pick between the two. That's it. Two, two things. No incentives, nothing but a really hot camera at the really right time. This camera was not even available yet. When was the camera given away? October of 2018. October 19th. Campaign ended on October 19th. The camera should be outdated by now. Send the traffic to my website. It's coming to my website. What are you, crazy? I'm not sending the traffic to you. I'm not crazy in giving the traffic to you. All right. So any other questions? I am going to cut this off. We were at two years, two years, two hours. Justin asked the question. So people entering now, they are not entering. Don't mean to imply that the campaign is closed. Campaign is closed. They are not registering right now. We got the 52,000 people in October of 2018. But traffic still comes because those links are dangling out there on the internet. People are still finding them. Traffic will still come to your campaign after the day it closed. All right. Thank you. Uh, we're going to cut this off. We just got to go. This is crazy. <laughs> Two hours for a co-pilot show. Thank you for sticking around. Those of you that are still here. Uh, really appreciate you. Come around next week where we're going to talk about something. I don't even know what's on the schedule for next week. I appreciate you. I appreciate your questions. If I didn't get to your question and I missed you, I apologize. Uh, you can always connect with me, like through Facebook or whatever. Let me know if you have questions. Don't forget, if you don't have Up Viral, you can still get it for a dollar. And we will talk to you again next week. Thanks for tuning in.